Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking at another cool creative tool here in Luminar Neo. More specifically, we're going to be looking at Atmosphere AI tool. Now, the Atmosphere AI tool uses a content aware and depth masking to place fog, mist or haze into the background and sometimes also a foreground of an image. So once again, we are in the application. We are in Luminar Neo, we have a picture ready, we are in the editing module, and as you can see, we are in the creative tools and on the tab number three, Atmosphere AI. First of all, let's uh, have a look at the different options here. First, here in the mode, you have a four different options and they are quite important to know what they do. You can choose between four atmospheric effects, fog, layer fog, mist and haze. And what do they do? So fog and mist can fill the majority of your frame. And now it depends on the depth slider where the layer fog and haze are applied largely in the lower third of a frame. I will show you in a moment. Don't worry about it. However, again, fog and mist can fill up the whole image. Layer fog and haze pretty much fill up the bottom part of your image. Now let's have a look at the other sliders. Now we have the amount slider. This slider sets the intensity of an atmospheric effect and by default it's set to zero. By increasing the value, it applies the atmospheric AI effects and it increases the adjustments to the actual image. The next slider is called depth and this slider adjusts the depth of the atmospheric effect. Increasing the depth value brings the effect closer to the front of the frame. Again, I will show you in a moment. So we have the amount, increasing the amount of the effect, depth, playing around with the effect, bringing it closer or further from the front of the picture. And finally, the lightness slider. This slider is set to maximum value of 100 by default. And to make your atmospheric effect darker or more subdued, decrease the lightness value down. Okay, so let's give it a go. We have this fog mode right here and let's push the amount slider. So as you can see, coming back to what I was saying earlier, fog and mist can fill the majority of a frame. By pushing the amount, it's starting to fill up from the top and down. But it doesn't fill everything. And the reason being that now we need to jump into the depth slider and push the depth. And as you can see, more I keep pushing, more of the effect is coming into the image. What I really like about this Atmosphere AI is that it's really smart and it starts by adding the fog from the area right here. It's kind of coming through the forest. I think that's very, very cool. You can see it yourself. Then it's kind of start to blend into the trees and so on. But it doesn't just start randomly. It starts from where you would expect the fog from. And then you can push the fog. And again, you can see it here how it only starts to go through the valley and it just keep increasing until it covers everything. Now to finish it off, to give you the example of the lightness. So now it's bright. And when I bring it down, as you can see, the fog is getting to some shade of gray. So let's reset everything again how to reset the sliders, you just double click on them and they reset to zero or their default value. So I think the next thing we should do is to have a look at the modes. So let's increase the amount and the depth so we can see the effect. And again, the fog and the mist are those that fill up the whole image. So what are the difference between the fog and the mist? I think when you get it closer, the fog keen to fill up more of the bottom eventually when you really push the slider and it's getting a little bit more thick where the mist 
keep mostly hanging at the upper part of the image. Now and then it's up to you, it's up to your artistic decision and what fits the best your image. And then we have a look at the layer fog and haze and those are the one which basically stay at the lower part of the image. So the layer fog looks like this. And I think that's a really cool effect too. So you can really push it. You can change the slider. Uh, the layered fog coming from about middle down. I really like how it kind of go through the valley again. And then the haze again, starting from around center of the image and then it goes all the way down. So there you have it. Those are the different modes. Now let's have a look at the examples of what we would use it for. So we have the catalog here and I think we can look at this image right here, which is a good example of where you would use the fog and mist as you would want them to be coming from the upper part of the image. So we are going into edit module, atmosphere AI, and we're going to use the fog. So let's push the slider and I think it looks so natural and realistic. As you can see, it kind of copies the ground here and it brings it up. And then we can increase the depth if we want to, but I think I would just leave it something like this. We could bring the lightness down a little to make it a little bit more natural and come out with a result like this. Let's see, before and after, I think it's very cool. And then it's again up to you. You can adjust the depth or not. Completely your decision and it's completely up to you to what you want to do to your images. And to finish it off, I have one more example for you. And I want to show you something about the Atmosphere AI that it's important to know. We go back to catalog and we use this image right here. So edit module and Atmosphere AI. And one thing that is important to know is that this tool is subject aware. So this smart tool prevents the subject of your photograph, and that can be the main subject like tree, woman, person, anything, from being covered by atmospheric effect and positions the effect in a way that it maintains a realistic look. Let me show, we're gonna use the fog, we're gonna add some fog to the image. And as you can see, it's leaving the woman alone. It's not adding the fog in front of her. Now we can change it to layer fog and we can really increase that. So it looks a little bit more natural that it's coming from behind her, something like this. So it's looking like it's almost coming on the ground. However, again, it's avoiding the body and making it look very realistic. Let's see before and after. And I think that makes this tool very cool. And it makes adding elements like this to your image super easy. So once again, you have a four different modes you can use. Fog and mist are those that pretty much apply to the whole image. Layer fog and haze are those that focus on the lower part of your photo. Then you have the amount slider to bring on and off your effect, the depth to adjust the mask of the effect, and then you can also adjust the lightness of the effect by using the lightness slider. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website, cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.